My special guest tonight, he just got back from Europe where he just pissed off every country over there. Uh, yeah. uh, Mike Pilato, everybody, aka MJ Trump! Clap it up, everybody! Clap it up for him! Yeah. Here we go. Fantastic to be here. Let's get, let's get right to it. Breaking news. Taco Cabana is going to pay for the wall. That's right. Now, I heard on, I'm going to give it a 50-50. I hope it's for real. I heard on CNN, so it might be fake news. What's the Donald doing here in New Braunfels? Well, you know, Melania came down about a month ago, went down to the border, she let all the little kids out of the cages. Somebody had to come and put them back in. Now, hey, before we get started, before we get going too far, let's go ahead and cover a couple of Donald don'ts, okay? Don't, this is very important. Don't forget to tip your waitresses bigly. And also, don't take this too serious. They're just jokes. I'm the president until they impeach me, so. <laughs> I'm your entertainment for this evening. What's going on here? Just got back from Europe. Like our, our host told us, I pissed everyone off. Angela Marco from Germany, she's just darn lucky. I was this close to bombing Germany, and we were going to keep the chocolate. <laughs> That's right. Everybody thinks Vladimir Putin must have something on you, Mr. Trump. You were so nice to him. No, no. It's just me and Putin, we see eye to eye. He's got three Slavic wives. I've had three Slavic wives. <laughs> now, during our collusions, we came to a conclusion. Uh oh. Did I just self incriminate? Doesn't matter. I'm the president, I'll just pardon myself, because I'm the president and you're not. <laughs> During our collisions, we came to a conclusion, the Slavic wives are the bomb. <laughs> now, I, you may have heard, I sent a tweet out this morning telling Jeff Sessions, cut this Russian investigation out, it's tearing the country apart. There's no reason for it, a year and a half, absolutely no evidence. Sorry, naysayers. No impeachment here. I'll try harder next year. <laughs> I love doing this one when I'm in Texas. Yeah, that was a Rick Perry moment. <laughs> I'll go ahead and admit it. I've had ties to Russia for 35 years. Where do you think I'm getting all my mail order brides? <laughs> One other thing, I pissed off a lot of people because I said I was going to pull out of NATO. That's right. I'm going to pull out of NATO because I'm a pull-out expert. <laughs> Women, you love it. You love that. The guys that pull out, right? Because I have a lot of experience pulling out. I pull out every time with Melania during our monthly. Hey. I pull out every time I have a private meeting with Kellyanne Conway. I pull out. <laughs> I pull out, I want to pull out of that NATO deal, just like I pulled out of Stormy Daniels. <laughs> one more New Braunfels, one more. I'm going to pull out of that bad NATO deal because they aren't paying, just like I pulled out of your mama last night. <laughs> what else is going on? I googled trending this morning, and I can't believe it, the royal wedding is still trending. It's because all you beautiful young women want to be princesses, I guess, right? Okay, well, I got news for Harry. Harry, it's not going to work. I have a lot in common with Meghan Markle. I met Meghan Markle 10 years ago. Howie Mandel brought her up to the Trump penthouse. I grabbed her. You all know where I grabbed her, right? She brought her briefcase, number seven. And that's all I'll give her. She's about a seven. So I, I Googled, and Melania helped me with this, we Googled Meghan Markle's ex-boyfriends. And come to think of it, come, come to find out, her last boyfriend before you, Harry, was a 
porn star. Oh. I told you we have a lot in common. I know Meghan Markle. Hollywood diva, it's not going to work out. His name? Rex Humwell. <laughs> so Melania's over there. She pulls up one of his movies. His big latest movies. His big latest. Footlongs. Footlongs. And this is really, really hard to admit. Now Melania wants to date him. <laughs> what else is going on? Making America great again is what I ran on. What am I doing lately to make America great? NFL season starting real soon, right? And in case you didn't hear, all of the NFL players are going to stand up. That's all the Donald. All the Donald right there. Well, I did have a little help from Stormy Daniels. She bought up all the knee pads. <laughs> Speaking of Stormy Daniels, I'm getting a little tired. If Stormy Daniels can make any more money on this, I want another blowjob. <laughs> In fact, it was hush money. $130,000 of my hush money. I want my money back. Everybody knows what happens. <laughs> With interest. What else is going on here? A lot of celebrities are calling the White House. Tom Hanks called the White House. He was asking for some guy named Wilson. <laughs> Tom Arnold called the White House. He, he was just asking me, if you can get fired, he was calling on behalf of Roseanne Barr, if you can get fired for one idiotic tweet, what the hell are you still doing there, Mr. Trump? <laughs> Finally, Tom Cruise called the White House, and he told me if I'm trying to get the naysayers, the Trump haters, the never Trumpers to see my point of view, it's Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Stallone called the White House. Hey, Odani. Slide. You know I hate it when you call me that. I hang up on him. He called back. Not really sure, but he was pitching some crazy TV reality show called Dancing with the Losers. <laughs> I told him, Sly, based on your last movie, Expendables 4, the only job I could offer you would be Secretary of Bombing. <laughs> I hung up on him again. He goes back a third time. I said, Sly. If I need advice on a boxing match, I'll call you Rocky. If I need hostages rescued, I'll call you Rambo. But if I need an authentic American pizza, certainly Sylvester Stallone, I'll call you. You guys heard, right before I went to Europe, I announced my next Supreme Court justice pick. I know a lot of you thought I was going to pick Judge Judy, but... You know, I had to, I, I had to go real. I picked a very well qualified Judge Brent Kavanaugh. Now, Judge Kavanaugh is very well qualified, of course, but please don't confuse him with Chuck Kavanaugh of the Ohio Kavanaugh sausage family. Different person, different person. Now, I'm going to take a few questions. We had some questions emailed in. There's a couple of reporters out in the audience. I think there's a question out back there. And the first question, go ahead. Yes, Mr. President. The federal government is decimalizing marijuana. What are your thoughts about it? I hear you have a pronunciation problem. It's decriminalizing. <laughs> That's right. The federal government's going to decriminalize marijuana. I don't partake myself, but I'll tell you this. Another Donald Trump. If you're riding in a limousine with Melania, don't bogart that joint. There's another question. I think there's one more right here. Two more. Go ahead. Uh, where's that second question at? Right here, ladies. Mr. President, forgive me, but I must ask, is that McDonald's real player? Oh, security, security, get her out, get her out. Oh, all right. I'll go ahead and answer that question. I've been in office a year and a half. I'm gonna admit. Every, who's got Twitter here? Who's got Twitter? Everybody got Twitter? Get your Twitters out because this is going worldwide within ten minutes. So get ready. Hashtag. That Donald comes clean. Hashtag, it's a rug. Hashtag, Justin Bieber wig, turn backwards. <laughs> this wig is 
got so much mojo in it. I put it on the other night at home. I asked my wife if she wanted to have sex with MJ Truff. She said no. <laughs> I think there's one more question over here. Ma'am, did you have, you had a question, didn't you? Mr. President, seems like the closest step to the door is to be appointed to the White House staff. Is this true? Absolutely true. That Donald hires the best, fires the rest. Just this year, just this year, in the beginning of the year, Amarosa out, Dennis Rodman in. <laughs> After that, we had, I got rid of Rex Tillerman as Secretary of State. I brought in Krusty the Clown. <laughs> I wanted to bring Krusty in because I got tired of being the only one wearing this much makeup at the White House. <laughs> I got one final question right here, and then I gotta, gotta, gotta get back. Air Force One is on the tarmac over here at New Braunfels Airport. Yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts about Oprah running against you in 2020? Oh, the Oprah. I love the Oprah. Who here loves the Oprah? Woo! Oprah is fantastic. She's a huge ready talk, just like the Donald. <laughs> hey, I might even vote for her myself. <laughs> Oprah and I, we got together. We got together and we decided we're going to fund this. We want the bigliest turnout ever. The bigliest? the bigliest turnout ever. That's right. All you need to do is vote for the Donald, vote for the Oprah. Doesn't matter. Everybody gets a car. That's right. You get a car. You get a car, sir. Good old boys in the back with, with the ball caps. You get pickup trucks. I'm going to leave you with this one here. Okay. Oprah and I, we talked, okay, what we want, and we both know it, and all of y'all know it, the Donald knows it, the ratings for the debates, and you guys do this one with me, the ratings for the debates, they're going to be huge. God bless New Braunfels, God bless the Silver Spoon, and God bless America.